connected. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon completed the repairs and servicing to Basil and set off onto the trail, where disaster struck. Hard getting out of here. Gotta do it. I think we should gun it. Here we go. Whoa. That's not gonna work, is it? Only a few kilometers into the shortcut, and I've got a feeling this is not gonna be easy. This <sighs> is not good. It's not good. It's not worth it. Struggling away here on my own. It's 40 kilometers to the next village. And you need to be on an enduro bike to do this and not a rally bike. I'm big enough and wise enough to know better and for that reason I'm going to turn around and go back and I'm so sad because it's like 300 kilometers down. So I don't need to do this, I don't need to prove to anybody. So I go back. So I had decision turning around. And I'm just I have like six litres of water with me. And yeah, I can get I know I can get over this log. No problem. And I know I can get over the next hill, but the problem is how many other hills and logs and ditches and swamps and rivers are there? I've heard stories of the jungle chewing up and spitting adventure riders back out in bits. Hopefully, this won't happen here. Basil Bike is taking a bit of a beating here. Lyndon is a very driven man and mentally very strong. And so far on races to places, we've never seen any trail get the better of it. Definitely not the place you want to be on your own. One more try. Some locals told me that six kilometers down the river there was a way over into Myanmar and then back into Thailand. You just take some bamboo rafts. So I thought I would give it a go. So I came to the point they said, which is this point here, which is a pretty big river as you can see. And I also rode through like an abandoned little village on the way. And I'm guessing that they used to run these bamboo rafts which are on the other side and the water is way deep so enough's enough I'm going back and find somewhere to camp it's been uh, it's been an adventure for sure uh, probably not the sort of ending that I wanted but that's what this is all about it was fun until I got exhausted 
started raining on the way back from the forest, so it's absolutely throwing it down here. And I was just meandering through the town, and these two guys, um, Jeff and Chris from the States, and they just invited me to a place to stay for tonight at their friend's house. So it's not much, but I said anything is better than nothing. So it should be a pretty interesting evening. I bet food has never seemed so appealing to Lyndon as it does right now. When I said a little piece to Canva about the border guard, making sure that my bike could get over the water and everything, well, he's just joined us for dinner, and he was surprised to see that I was here. No <laughs> way. Really? When you're on a trip anywhere with a car, bike, or on foot, a very important skill is being able to make friends with the locals and other people on similar journeys to gain valuable advice about routes available. Just coming daylight outside. It's so nice to have somewhere to sleep. I'm gonna get up, get on the bike, and get some kilometres done today. Oh, I'm aching a bit after yesterday. It's a traditional local bathroom here. This is just a big uh, tub of rainwater. Good morning. There's like people sleeping everywhere. Standard KTM 690 Enduro ignition barrel. Nothing. Well, there's the problem. The two soldered connections inside the back of the ignition barrel, inside the back of here, have completely just vibrated off. Bingo! Make a more permanent fix once we get a base where we've got a soldering iron and can fix some stuff. feet and everything. I'm going to take my socks off here and see what's going down. They don't smell too good. Check my wrinkly bottoms. Look at that. <laughs> and Fitz, it's a good job for you that uh, the houses, it's no wonder they hurt me. Next time on Races to Places, it's time for some selfies and Lyndon visits the Kanchanburi War Cemetery. <laughs>